Welcome everyone, it's Andrew checking in from IDB. iOS 11 Beta 4 is on us with a bunch of new fixes and changes. Starting off on your home screen slash notification center, you can now swipe to the left on notification to view or clear and swipe right to open. You can also 3D touch on it as well and still tap on it to get right in. That is not the only change to the notification slash lock screen. You can also now jump into a notification even if you haven't unlocked your phone. And this new cover sheet will pop up letting you know you can use Touch ID to open that specific app or go ahead and type in your passcode. Again, this is for if your phone is locked and you try to tap a notification without unlocking your phone first. It just gives you a notification that that's the case. 32-bit apps are now definitely no longer working on iOS 11, and if you visit one in the App Store, you'll see this warning on top, and you will not be able to purchase it. That way you don't buy something that doesn't work on your phone. We also have new icons coming to Notes and Reminders. They've been slightly tweaked. Notes has a little less line, a little smaller header, and Reminders looks like it was kind of flipped and with one less dot. Contacts also got a small change, looking a little bit different in having a couple on the front rather than just one silhouette. The screen recording inside of Control Center also now has a countdown, allowing you to have time to exit Control Center before the screen recording starts and you don't have to trim your recording every single time. The Start Broadcast button that appeared in the last beta, that has also disappeared in this version. There is now a new splash screen in Notes, letting you know of the document camera, instant notes from Control Center, and other new features coming in iOS 11, and we have a similar one for the Photos app. Again, highlighting upcoming features that you can use like live photo effects, live photo editing, and more memories to capture all of those moments in your life. If you happen to open up the launch or the app switcher and just go ahead and close everything, it'll now take you back to your home screen. So as soon as you get all the way to end and there's no more apps open, it'll just keep you at your home screen. And if you try to launch it without any apps open in the background, it'll again keep you on your home screen. Low power mode, which now has a little toggle in control center, has a nice cute little animation when you turn that on and off with the battery kind of filling up as it changes color. The last bigger change in iOS 11 beta 4 is that inside of settings and then going to general, we now have a new option for airdrop, which now it allows you just to, again, just choose receiving off, contacts or everyone, the same choices you've always had, just in a new location inside of settings. Otherwise, there are small changes. Bluetooth has been far more reliable in this build. I have not had my Dexcom Bluetooth CGM unit disconnect at all in all my time using it. And moving around icons and accessing edit mode versus just 3D touching on an icon, that is a lot smoother and works a lot better again. Just more small bug fixes. It has also crashed way less on that last build, and maybe I was in the minority, but my phone was crashing four or five times a day, forcing me to literally restart it to keep it working. I have not had any issues so far. For the full list, check below and IDB.com. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Until next time, it's Andrew for IDB.